What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at the Vitoman Jump 600X Portable Power Station. Taking a look at the specs, this has a 299 watt hour LifePo4 battery, a 600 watt continuous power handling and a 1200 watt peak, supports pass through charging and weighs 13.23 pounds. So taking a look inside the box, you have the manual, your AC charging adapter, a USB-A to USB-C cable, a USB-C to USB-C cable, and a car cigarette adapter. And then of course, lastly, you have the unit itself. So taking a look at the power station itself, it is a pretty basic design, but I do like the yellow accents as it does give the power station a little more character. This is the third Beetleman unit that I have now, and they pretty much all look the same as this one, despite being a little bit bigger, because the other ones I have are the Beetleman 1000 and the Beetleman 1800. So taking a look at the ports in front, you have your DC 12 volt charging input, your DC outputs, you have a cigarette lighter port, and then two of these. Then over here, you have a 60 watt USB-C port, three USB-A ports, and one of them is Quick Charge 3.0. You have your two AC outlets, and then right up here, which is unique to Vitoman power stations, is this unit is also a portable jump starter as well. So you could put your jump starter cable in there. And then you could also link up an auxiliary battery to give you more power, and you'll connect that one right there. Then coming on top here, you have a light bar, which is very bright as well. It's pointing at the camera right now, so I'm not gonna turn it on, but this has three modes of low, medium, and high. Then it has a strobe mode, this is definitely very bright and more than enough to light up an outside area or a room in your house if you do happen to lose power. So when charging up the power station with the included AC adapter, it was charging at about 60 watts on average. And this power station does have a maximum input of 65 watts. You can also charge this up with a 100 watt solar panel as well. But again, it's going to be capped off at that 65 watt limit. All right, so using about a 200 watt load on the AC outlet, I drained this power station from 100% to zero and got a total of 265 watt hours. Doing the math that puts this unit at 89% of usable capacity, which is about average with smaller power stations of this size. So despite this power station having a maximum output of 600 watts continuous, it actually has the ability to power items that draw more power as well. So let's say it's something like a heat gun that needs 1000 watts. Instead of letting the heat gun pull that amount, this power station will actually detect the higher draw and step it down to 600 watts. This will allow the heat gun to stay powered except just running at a lower fan speed. This technology doesn't work for things that need their full power, but should be fine for most appliances like a heater or electronic cooking devices. All right, so let's go ahead and give that a try. Right here I have my heat gun, which I know on high draws about 950 watts, somewhere around there. Go ahead and plug that in. So on medium, you can see it's drawing about 500 watts, no problem at all. Switch it up to high. As you see for a second, it drew about 800 and something watts, and then it stepped it back down to the 600 watt limit. You'll even hear the fan go a little higher and then go back down. So do that one more time. Down to medium or low. High. Went up to 800 and then again right back down to 6. So definitely works as advertised. And like I said, very cool. And makes this power station actually a lot more useful than other 600 watt power stations. Overall, this is definitely a great little power station. I own two other power stations from Beetleman and they both work great. So I have no doubts that this one will perform just as well. Regardless if you need a larger power station or a small one like I have here, power stations from Beetleman are definitely great options to consider. All right, well, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and I'll do what I can to help. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.